All right, Mom, this is where you went to high school, right? Yes, for four, four years. Marquette High in Alton? Graduated in 1954. Ah, what do you remember about going to high school Oh here? my, so many things, it's hard to pinpoint. Uh, you kind of got a kick out of this. I was saying to Ed, now the front of the school, you'll see three double doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. This door, at least when I went here, the door over here was the girls' entrance. Okay, and the middle door here was for the nuns. It was called the Ursuline Nuns, operated the school, and this was the nuns' entrance. Well, then you can guess the entrance down there, of course, was the boys' entrance. Ah, <laughs> so they had different entrances for the girls, the boys, and the nuns. Right, that's how yeah. they divided it up. Yeah, that's how they did things. In those you you kind of got a kick out of that, did you? I, do. I, I doubt they do it that way anymore. They wouldn't do it architecturally, I guess. They wouldn't do it, uh, you know, designing a school. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we had the Ursuline nuns, <coughs> and uh, they made us study hard. Academically, uh, <coughs> it's a very good school. Mm -hmm. uh, at least I didn't have any trouble uh, getting into college. Of course, back then you didn't have so much testing like you did, like you have today. Right. But, um, well, I matriculated here. Did you have any boyfriends? Oh, sure, you <laughs> dated. Well, it was, just, it was called dating and we had proms. Mm. And uh, we would have the nuns come to the proms because no. we had to have chaperones. No. Right? That's it right. It was a co-ed school. Mm. Did you have bands or was it just music? Oh, yes, we, we would have a band. Mm. And I'm trying to think of the names of some of the nuns. Most of them are deceased. In fact, they're buried right out there in St. Patrick's Cemetery yeah, across right. from where my parents are buried. But down here we had Mother Alice over here. She was in charge? She, she was, was in Superior? Uh, no, the homeroom. Now in the middle here, which was important, it was the nun's entrance, and you had the principal's office right to the right inside the door. Oh, who was the principal, do you remember? Yes, Mother Mildred. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then some of the others, Mother Ignatius. She oh. was uh, chemistry, and they didn't have much of a chemistry department then. Now they have bought Miller's Mutual next door over there, that large building right next to us, and they're having um, sciences in there and technology and so on. So... Did you have a car back then? Um, the only ones who had cars were the students from West Alton. Oh. They had to have cars to transport them over here. But I would walk. I didn't live that far from here. So most of us walked. Uh -huh. And let's see would the Grandpa other. Would ever bring you over here? You know, I can I tell a would. funny story. Um, you can see how low those windows are. And some of the boys would crawl out those <laughs> windows if they had ninth hour. Escape, huh? Ninth hour it was called. So they had to stay after school. Is that a punishment? That was a punishment, ninth hour. Right. And one would say, well, I got to get out of here. I got to get down to the bowling alley and yeah. set up the pins. Right. He had a job setting up the pins at the pole, yeah. the alley. But anyway, he crawled out Can't <laughs> of, blame him. of one of these windows so he could get to work. Yeah. Another boy had a job driving um, a floor, florist truck. Oh. For a florist well, I guess the a, a business here weddings downtown. And homes and they all right, need flowers. Right. Yeah. And he had to get to work. So yeah. a lot of these young boys had to get out and get to work and they would climb out these windows, <laughs> I guess, when whoever um, was supposed to be supervising them wasn't looking. Well, you can't blame them, can you? No, no not had, really. But then if they got caught, it. oh boy, then they oh, got then in big trouble. two ninth hours. <laughs> <and so. laughs> On it went. Let's see, um, upstairs, uh, I learned to uh, type. Those yeah. are the typing rooms up That's there. That's a handy skill. And we had Mother Ursula, who was in charge of the library. 
Mm. And she was uh, quite, uh, what do you call it, very rigid. Disciplinary. Uh, disciplinary, and mm. she disciplined that library very, very well. Well, thanks for bringing us over here, Mom, okay. and showing us around. And uh, we okay. did enjoy seeing your high school in Alton. I'm glad you watched. They keep saying, get closer and closer to my brother. Well, we have brotherly love, but you know what? Let's um, have a little space here. I still think we should see other people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we are here in front of uh, Fast Eddie's. So how can you go to Alton without having a, good, a cold beer from Fast Eddie's and one of their world-renowned, oh, what is it, uh, an elk burger, wasn't it? That's right, an the elk, elk burger. burger. It's the big one. And, um, and the shrimp. And the shrimp, what the else do you like? Ice here? cold beer. And well, I always remember when I was younger, five years ago, um, they used to, we used to be able to get a case of Ham's beer for like $10. And we thought, oh man, that's a good deal. Um, but the Ham's beer, I don't even know if they make it anymore. Do you think they do? Ham's the beer refreshing. I thought it was the beer from the, from the uh, sky blue waters. That's the one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, Fast Eddie's, this is the place to be. If you ever want to come to Alton, this is where the danger is. Because i got to tell you, these cars are right around hitting our, hitting our um, film crew. And if you want to ride your motorcycle over here, yeah, I can true. sympathize. I've got a Harley myself, and so uh, it's a great place to uh, for a ride. Stop here and then go up the river road. You got it. And uh, going over there, Pierre Marquette Park or someplace like that. What's a Grafton is on the way there too. Grafton, sure. Yep. And they got a, a place where they still have concerts there. Give a Elsa shout out to Landing, them. Yep. Yes. Well, anyway, I'm thirsty. So guess what yeah. we're gonna do? When you think of Eddie, you can think of me, or you can think of this place. So <laughs> no, that's fast true. Eddie's. We yeah. got two Eddies here. So yeah. Um, I prefer. Well, prefer I prefer this my one. brother. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta prefer my brother, but yeah. in second place is a, a, a cold beer, a Fast Eddie's with an elk burger. That's right, let's go. All right, we are still here, and this is Alton. This may be it. Yeah, Fast Eddie's. Fast Eddie's, where else we need to go? <laughs> All right, goodbye for now. At Brown & Brown, our phone numbers are easy to remember. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. So if you've been in a car wreck or hurt on a job, call Brown & Brown for a risk-free consultation. At Brown & Brown, we'll give you the personal attention that you deserve. We only get paid if you collect. So if you've been in a car wreck, hurt on the job, call us now for a risk-free consultation. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Here we are in front of Granite City High School, home of the Warriors. Yay! And Ed, what can you tell us about Granite City High School other than the fact it's a beautiful campus, they have a newer school and the, school and the older school. But yeah, tell it's us a what, big, it's a, it's a giant high school. Sure. And uh, very good football teams. They've won some state championships. Kevin Green, That's the true. Hall of Famer, <laughs> who used to play with the Rams. Yes. Uh, he uh, went here. He was a all pro and all state, and had uh, a great career in the NFL. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of friends from Granite. Always enjoy coming here. My first legal job was here in Granite City. That's true. I clerked for a appellate court judge, and you no, know, I. The park, Wilson Park, is fantastic. Played tennis right. here many times with my buddy Jesse the Magician. And um, the Popeye's chicken you used to always go to yeah, for lunch. That's right. I got one a free lunch there. <laughs> Only time I've ever won a lunch with my business card. <laughs> I think they they uh, they helped me out on that one. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. All right. I asked them, "When am I going to get my free lunch?" And the next thing you know, I want a free lunch. Hey, that was uh, doesn't hurt your, to ask. 
That was during your lean years when you were a pellet court uh, yeah. clerk? I remember the other thing I used to do was uh, take an empty cup into McDonald's and fill it up with iced tea every day. And finally they put a, a little thing up that said, no free refills without buying uh, a drink. So oh, that was the end of my free iced tea at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things must have been rough, but they couldn't have been that rough. I mean, just get some water, for goodness sakes. I, money was tight, you know. You do what you got to do in this world. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, Granite City High School, it's a happening place. Um, yeah. Beautiful can, campus and grounds. Here are all the muscle cars roaring up and down oh, Namioki Road here. Sure. Uh, the kids are proud of their, uh, their cars. Yes. And, um, and as well after, they should be. After school, they just, there goes another one. You yeah. just hear them roaring up and down the street. And then, like with us, we'd have a, a 69 Chevelle, but nowadays, the, the hip and cool car, what would it be? Uh, Fast and Furious. They like the, uh, you know, the Japanese oh. Toyotas and the souped up uh, Mitsubishis. And, yeah, it's all about the Fast and Furious. But the one fellow got killed, I mean, in real life, right? Uh, Paul, uh, yeah, Paul, uh, Boy, I think of his name, but yeah, he, he was, uh, he was killed, uh, uh, you know, hot riding. Yeah. Well, yeah, we could, we've gone to cemeteries and we've gone to, and now we're talking about death again. I don't we talk gotta, about it, you talk about it. Oh, You're come the one on, who to be livelihood. Yeah, I, I need I something, know. let's pick me up a little bit. Yeah, sports, football. Yes, well, Granite football. City High, hey. football, it's good stuff. Go Warriors, have they got a basketball yeah. team and they everything else as well. Team, yeah. And um, it's a happening place here in Granite City and to all our Granite City uh, people. Granite and, City Steel's right down the street. That's true. And uh, had a lot of friends who worked there and uh, I think they're they're doing well now the production's up mm. and uh, the economy's going good and that's it uh, so yeah a shout are. out to all the Granite City steel workers and a shout out to all the students and all the graduates from Granite City High as well go to your reunions for goodness sakes you know we went we why do you in, care if they go to their reunions well because I, I'm sick and tired of going to Hazelwood East reunions and you know it's just you know, a few people show well, up there's well, no, I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of people that show up. We have a very good class. Yeah. My brother Greg's class, on the other hand, maybe not so much. Well, they can't get out of their mom's basements. They're oh. kind of locked in. You know? Well, hey, there's nothing wrong living with your mom's basement. <laughs> She's, you're taking care of your mother. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess that's that's what they all say. Hey, I'm taking care of my mom. Yeah, sure. You never I got out of the basement. Mom's still making your bed, so I don't think you're taking care of your mom. Yeah. All right, well, anything else to add from this beautiful Granite City? Nope, nice right. easy commute from St. Louis. Yes. Yep, just go across the one of the bridges and uh, over oh, the Gateway Golf Course. Oh, that's, that's not right. far from here. I, I play golf there sometimes. But nice view of the arch. But you're not much of a golfer. I'm not bad. I'm not Tiger Woods, but I can, I can hit it. Oh, well, good. It's, uh, I don't play that often, but you know. When you do, I, you give it your best shot. I'm better at putting than I'm at a driving, you know. <laughs> I, Is that uh, your putt-putt golf career? My drives tend to <laughs> shoot. Hey! <laughs> my drives tend to go that way, so I, I try to hit it that way so my drive will go back onto the fairway, oh. kind of curve back in. So you have a, a slice and you know how to play it. <laughs> I play my slice, All yes. right. Oh, hey, thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> this is not scripted. Nice, friendly people from here in Granite City. Uh, people yeah. uh, seem to enjoy our company here. So, yeah. And, of course, we, those are paid actors. We had to pay them how much this time? <laughs> well, you know, we pay them scale, and then they drive by. Oh, we'll have to do another take with them going around and driving by again. I wish it was that easy. All right, well, from Granite City, Illinois, Ed, do you have anything else to add? Or we're That's gonna... it. That's it. Let's get out of here before we get busted. And for all your yeah. warriors, keep on warring around. Right. All right, goodbye for now. If you've been hurt in an automobile accident, I probably know what you're thinking. Maybe I can deal with the insurance company on my own. But remember, the insurance company has a staff of professionals working for them. We're the attorneys of Brown & Brown. Don't be a victim twice. To get your car fixed right, obtain a rental car, and get compensated for your injuries, you should have us working for you. In Missouri, dial all threes, 333-3333. Three, 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 three. 
and Illinois, dial all eights, 888-8888. And abroad, abroad, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. Here we are at Laramore Park, and let me take you back to the year 1970. I was an eight-year-old baseball player, and on this diamond right behind us, which is now gone, I was the one that hit the ball that caused our team to win second place. <laughs> At least it was second place, it wasn't third place. But anyway, so I was very excited. I got a second place trophy, and I still have it today. I should have brought it, doggone it. But I was so proud, I still kind of am proud of that. So you hit the ball, what, what kind of hit did you? Well, it doesn't matter what kind of hit, hit ball it, it well, matters you, that it. You tipped it and it landed in front of the plate and you were able to <laughs> hustle down the first while the catcher threw it past the first baseman, something like that? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was a spiraling hit. Yeah. Going, 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 gone. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Do you have an experience? 1974, 1975, Cory Lake Baseball. Laramore Park here on Laramore Road in Spanish Lake. Uh, Jim Murphy, Greg Carwitz. We came in second place and we came in second place. So we did, we did pretty well. I was 13, 14 years old. Had a fantastic time. I didn't hit the ball over that one though, but <laughs> I knocked it around the uh, park many times. And who was your manager? Uh, that was that was Jim Murphy for one year, and then uh, Frank Harwitz took it over for the next two. Hey. State, State Farm, uh, L.Y. State Farm Insurance, shout out up here on uh, Belfont Road, sponsored that team. So, and Ed, any? Uh, yeah, any? we had Mr. Donaldson as our manager. His son Chuck was the best player on the team. Mm -hmm. We were sponsored by Buckold's Funeral Home. And uh, yeah, I was a shortstop. I enjoyed it. It was a good position. Long throw to first. Eventually, when I played softball, I played second base, which is a much shorter throw. Good but you're morning. still in every play. And we used to ride our bikes up here, uh, you know, from from home, which in the old days, parents, you know, weren't as concerned. Mom had four kids, so she lost one. She still had three, so. Yeah. Not a big deal. So no, tell the story of how you let me walk up here when I was six years old. Well, I didn't let you. You disappeared from the house. And Jeez. I thought, my goodness, I think I had dropped you off at a school, a day school up here. And you decided you didn't like it. So yeah. you took off and you walked home. Sheesh. Yep. Independent as a pig on ice. Yeah, yeah, you even were. Then, yeah. You were. And what about your knee injury? Oh yes, playing tennis, I fell and broke my kneecap. I was playing with the the tennis yep. scores are right over there, and so. Um, so every time her yeah. knee hurts, she blames me. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> I do think of that. Um, getting back to Corey League, what was the award you received? You remember? Mr. Improvement? It, no, 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 that was, that was basketball. basketball. <laughs> it, was, it was it um, was Corey Lig. Uh, they had a, some kind of an honor where they gave you an award. That was a trophy, that second was place. Trophy? Yes, yes. I when see. I belted out that hard drive deep to right field, <laughs> going, going, caught. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it was caught, but and, and I remember you were scorekeeper a lot, weren't you? I was an all-star one, I think, the, the first All-star award. Yeah, I, I think that was the award I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, Chuck Donaldson got one, I got one, and uh, Phil, uh, I'll think of his last name. But so, yeah, three of us got all-stars. But they, um, they made you keep score a lot. Yeah, I guess <laughs> uh, I was, you know, keeping figures in my head. Yeah, somebody had to do it. Well, here we are at Laramore Park. It's a little bit windy, which never halts us. But guess what? Before I said something about playgrounds, we got to reinvent our youth and let's see if we can go down the slide a couple of times. Are you ready? 
I mean, nobody, it, nobody wants to see that. I'm no? not. Mother, but your knee? Don't, no, don't bring no. up your knee again that saying you can't go down the slide. I still have that injury <laughs> from falling on the tennis court. All right, well, somebody's going to go down the slide, <coughs> and let's see who it is. All right, adios, but we're just walking a little bit, and don't, don't, don't leave us. It's going to be a heck of a slide, okay? All right. All right, here we are in the slide. And what did we say? We said, well, we'll we're going to go down the slide. It's not the most, uh, hmm, how do you want to put it, Ed? It's not exactly skydiving, but uh, <laughs> I think we'll make it. All right. So we're sliding to the rescue. Yes. All right, and you ready? One, two, three. Ah! Whoa. Hey, <laughs> that was exciting. Whoa. <sighs> And always remember at Brown and Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll slide to you. We'll slide to you. Very good. <laughs> All right. If you've been hurt on a job, I probably know what you're thinking. Are the doctors I'm seeing working for me or the insurance company? At Brown and Brown, we can have you examined by another doctor to see if anything else can be done to help you. And guess what? Many times, our doctors will find things that the workers' compensation doctors have missed. So call us at Brown and Brown in Missouri. Dial all threes, 333-3333. In Illinois, dial all eights, 888-8888. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. All right, here we are on Coal Bank Road. Now, Ed, why would we be on Coal Bank Road? I haven't the foggiest clue. Right. I don't know why, why you dragged me out here, but I'm about to find out, I suppose. These are woods, and believe it or not, the cone tops and the other beer cans that I have in my collection, a lot of these came from right back here. And people would say, well, how would they come back from the woods? Well, this used to be an old golf course. And what happened was back in the 30s and 40s, they, wouldn't, um, they didn't have trash pickup. So what they did is they buried their, their trash. So when I was 13 years old, Michael Evans, a good friend of mine, God bless us so, um, and I used to go on back there and dig up all this stuff. Now, I haven't done it since I've been 13 years old, but guess what? We're gonna go back and give it a shot. What the heck? What you mean we, Kimo Sabe? <laughs> oh, you're coming too, pal. Oh. It's brown and brown, it's not oh, brown. Boy. Oh, all boy. right, so we're gonna go hunting. And if we're not back in about 15 minutes, please come looking for us. Ah, oh, all right, here we go. Ah, uh, let's go. Come on. Oh, be careful here. Now, wait a second, I gotta see if I can find something. There's usually old beer cans around here somewhere. Cha-ching. Oh, I already found something. Here we are deep in the woods. I found this, a milk bottle, and two corrupted, cor corroded golf balls. They haven't golfed here in like 40 years, but I, I found like three or four of these. I'm gonna dig some more. There's gotta be an old cone top here somewhere. Anybody got a shovel? If you're out there right now, I could use a shovel right now. I hate using a stick. I forgot my shovel. All right, we'll do. Let's keep on going. Ha! Ah, I will not be deterred. Ha! Ah. Now this is what I'm looking for, these beer cans. Unfortunately, I brought these myself to here in case I needed to, um, when I'm digging them up, to verify what type of beer can they are. And uh, so you got Schlitz and Falstaff. But I'm going to continue looking. I don't want to bring my old beer cans out here. I need to find new ones. I will not be deterred. Ah. 
Oh, I don't care. I'm sorry? Oh. What is it? Do you want to do this? Here it is. A beer can. There are some out here. I knew it. I knew they're still out there. After 45 years, we need to look some more. Ah, I need a shovel to start digging. That little 13 year old boy in me wants to get a shovel and dig and catch these, uh, or find these cone tops that I used to collect upon my younger youth. But guess what? I gotta give up my toys now. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go. You know, the cone tops will rest until another day. But I will not be deterred. They'll be round two. I can sense it. Ah. Okay, here we are, Humpty Dumpty's game room. This was a thriving pinball palace. That's true. Back in the 70s. Mid 70s. And yeah, you'd, uh, if you've ever seen the movie Days of Confused, pinball places <laughs> were the, the big thing in the 70s. Everybody went there. And uh, I think uh, you got kicked out for shaking the machines, well, right? I shook, shook the machines <laughs> a little bit, but that's the only reason why you had to, or else you'd get a drain. That's part of playing pinball. You try to keep the ball in the right place, rack up a high score, get some free games, keep it going. You can play here all day on one quarter. If you're good enough. And yeah. then we had foosball here, too, and air hockey. And foosball, yeah. I got to tell you, that was um, yeah, there were some pretty good players there, and yep. even when I went to, to college, uh, I always remember that I went to this fraternity and I, I beat several of the players in foosball, and they didn't like that very much. But you know, you, you play quarter after quarter after quarter, but your wrist sometimes would get get sore. Carpal tunnel. If you've huh. been injured by a pinball machine, <laughs> call Brown and Brown. <laughs> Oh, I don't think Missouri we're all threes, <laughs> Illinois all eights. I think we have to retract that one a little bit, but um, no, the. Triple action. What were some of the other machines that you liked there? Twin you, win. Was you like the, the baseball game where the ball yeah, would come out and you try to hit a home run? All right. Well, from Brown and Brown, from the old Humpty Dumpties, and man, we're not going to go to Strollaways, man. It's, it's now a police station. Mm, man, I don't want to go. You know, all of a sudden, we're filming in front of the, the police station, and all, a SWAT team of officers come up. What are you doing here? I'm like, ah, we're just uh, filming for strollaways. You can't do that. But anyway, for all the police officers, a good shout out. Yay! And Ed, anything else to uh, say? That's it. All right, from Brown and Brown, who knows where we're going to be next, but we'll be there.